What's up? Uh, one thing I've really enjoyed doing over the last few years is watching live streams of, of concerts from all around the world. Um, and so last weekend, I was watching the uh, Cali Roots Festival that was in Monterey, California. And I had a bunch of different artists. Uh, Cypress Hill was on there and uh, many others. Uh, but I, I came across uh, NACO and the group Medicine for the People. And I never heard of them before, and I was super impressed. I really, really enjoyed his uh, performance. And he sings a lot and raps a little bit. Um, so I thought I'd pick a song that, you know, that has more rapping uh, in it, you know, based on, on this channel. Uh, but yeah, this song is from 2017, I think, and it's called Love Letters to God. So yeah, let's, let's check it out. No matter what they ever do to us, we must always act for the love of our people and the earth. We must not react out of hatred against those who have no sense. By John Trudell. Uh, yes, I was looking up uh, Nico. It, it said that he's um, uh, part Puerto Rican, part Filipino, and part Native American. So this uh, video deals a lot with the, uh, the Native American uh, community. Here we go. I think that footage there is from uh, Standing Rock, which was the, the Dakota Access Pipeline protest that happened in 2016 when they were, uh, you know, trying to build a pipeline through native land. And there was a lot of uh, uh, protests. I know that uh, Tulsi Gabbard, who's running for president, she went down uh, to the camp. And I think AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, uh, she also went there and uh, Bernie, Bernie Sanders spoke a lot about it, so it, it caused a big um, uh, controversy, and unfortunately I think that the, the pipeline did end up getting uh, created, but uh, you know obviously there's been, you know in Canada there's been a lot of uh, um, conflict too with the natives in British Columbia um, over over pipelines, so it's just, it's ridiculous, you know pipelines that should just be part of the past, right, and we should be moving into the green economy. As they say, we only have about 12 years left to really mitigate, uh, you know, the huge problems that are coming by climate change. So, uh, yeah, let's, you know, let's get rid of all, uh, well, any new pipelines for sure and start to transition off of the old ones. And it's disgusting what the police did to the protesters and the companies did. Um, yeah, just, just discuss them. Give, always give what you can. Even if your allies are lying to the sand and dead. Always dig a little deeper. Sometimes it's hard to be my brother's keep. No tankers, no pipelines. Uh, yes. Resistance, because if we fight, we might lose, but if we don't fight, we've already lost. Excellent. Yeah, here's a beautiful voice. Um, on here, it doesn't, on his recorded uh, songs, it doesn't come across as much, but when I was watching him on uh, the festival, on the live stream, I noticed that his voice sounds very similar to uh, Hootie, uh, you know, from Hootie and the Blowfish. Um, I, I saw a lot of parallels there, so I don't know if anyone else has picked up on that, but I, I really love, uh, well, Darius Rucker, uh, his real name, I really love his, his voice also, so uh, yeah. It's a great person to be uh, similar to. You never protest, feel the weight in my life, put your hand on my chest and rest. In the cradle of my arms, the battle that we face is the place where our stars come from. And to pick up the gun, my love, we are destined to teach these ones to be brave. Yeah, teach the youth. Uh, you know, the youth is ones that care the most about climate change, right? You see the resistance um, that is going on over in. Europe and in the UK, uh, school children and Greta, what's her name, Greta, uh, the 15-year-old uh, from Europe, and she's, you know, because they're the ones that are going to bur uh, bear the burden of 
of climate change the most, so the youth are trying to wake up uh, the adults. provoke us to fight. Um, yeah, you know, people, the natives own this uh, land and then it, coming in and uh, trying to uh, put in uh, pipelines, it's just, yeah, it is, it is provocation. And then when someone fights back for what their, uh, what their rights are, then they're, they're looked at as the ones that instigated it. So it's, uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Are you here to protect or arrest me? Yeah, like KRS-1 says uh, about the police, you were put here to protect us, but who protects us from you? I wonder if uh, she reads them or if they get lost. The love letters to God. Um, yeah, I think he said she, uh, he said she there. Um, yeah, you know I'm not religious myself, but uh, still, uh, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful song. No beginning, then where would you start? I love that horn there. Human souls, so we call them into storytelling. We're always searching for a certain goal A pattern of physics our own Don't believe I get told and open Don't believe what you're told Yes, uh, again, KRS, my favorite rapper of all time, says Always question the answers Open up your fist, a misconception You can fight like this and praise With the power of prayer of God on our side We can take the stairs to the heavens Flipping through my chapter seven and eight with the snakes in the great deception of court. And this country for men who steal from the mother on paper with pen and we're tripping. Down a red dirt road and we're asking, this the way we should go. Kissing soft up feet and my God is, we want the hurt, baby, yeah, we got this focus. And it's redirected, the rainfall, and I'm resurrected, stubborn. But I know the way, you just get is here and she says persevere uh, yes you know it's always a, a big uh, tenet of uh, Native American culture to respect the elders Yeah, and it was really interesting last week when he performed this song, uh, he had jumped down into the crowd and was, was walking through, and it was a real sense of uh, togetherness because uh, the, the song is really powerful and the crowd was really into it. And just at that moment, I saw someone holding a sign that said, Feel the Burn uh, for Bernie Sanders 2020. And uh, I thought well, that was really appropriate because 
you know, that kind of uh, sense of uh, community that uh, Bernie's policies are trying to foster. And he's done a lot of work for the, the Native American community. Um, you know, that's what he's striving for. And it would be interesting uh, if, you know, we won't see these type of events again with, uh, you know, the police doing these kind of things under a Bernie Sanders administration. Um, and I was reading uh, about NACO after that, and uh, lo and behold, he was a big supporter of Bernie back in 2016. So uh, hopefully he will be again. So just as an aside, I thought that was interesting. I love the horn section at the end there. Yeah, it's a beautiful song. It's, it's an amazing, amazing track. Um, he reminded me a lot, you know, of sort of Michael Franti and Spearhead. And when I was looking, researching him afterwards, I found that he's toured a lot with Michael Franti. And I, I saw one of his videos where they were together. So, yeah, they have a very similar vibe. You know, Michael Franti uh, does the rapping and the singing. And the same as uh, Nako. So yeah, today I'm not going to uh, rate this song because uh, it's, you know, I think it, it's beautiful. So it's not what this video is about. It's really just about um, bringing some light to, to this new group that I've discovered. And hopefully maybe a few other people will, will catch on and, and follow him. Yeah, so you know, I'm probably become a lifelong fan now. So I'm going to follow uh, what he does in the future with uh, a lot of anticipation. And uh, I really, really enjoyed him so yeah it's great to discover new artists so thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe thanks so much always appreciate it till next time